is centered in the core. Core of an apple, center, and Tai Chi, it's the Dantian. Tom's going to showcase that with Laura here. Hi, Laura. Um, showing core-centered strength. Right. We're going to show the exact situation we're in the fitness industry right now by doing crunches. This is what they're doing in fitness right now. And a crunch, Laura is going to literally just move her fingers three inches forward. Notice her scapula, her shoulder blades are coming off the floor. Her eyes are focused toward the ceiling. And this is working her abdom abdominal area, and it's working it very well. And yet... We're going to have other methods to work that out as well. Exactly. Yeah. You can really see the strength there. Now, if I were to hold Laura's legs here, what happens? Yeah, Tom? now it's the hip flexors. Now hip it's flexors. all about hip flexors, the muscles right here. And now it's not as much about ab work, it's about hip flexors. Right. So those of you at home that just are stuffing your legs under the sofa and doing crunches, uh -huh. you know, it's not, you're not going to blow up or anything, but it'll be good if you can move your legs out and feel it in the abs. Right. Okay. And, and another exercise mm -hmm. that uh, folks are doing right now in the fitness industry is the feet are coming up toward the ceiling. And Laura, what we'd like you to do is maintain your low back flat to the floor. And by that I mean your low back should not come off the floor as you slowly lower your feet. Your knees are slightly bent the entire time. Okay, so do your best. See if you can keep your low back flat for that entire time. And Scott's going to kind of spot you as you do this. And Laura's really talented, but we're going to ask her to move that left arm out just a little bit. Good. So you can go. see the lower back. And watch. Now, see, Laura... <laughs> Laura is awesome. Very she strong. obviously has that abdominal strength and power, and she has that torso strength and stability. So far, so good. In fact, those, that, <laughs> that low back did not come off the floor, Scott. I give it an A. <laughs> so be careful at home, though, folks. Don't necessarily do this exercise, especially if you have any kind of low back problems. Great. It's a great program. Thanks, Laura. So that gives you an idea about core strength, and now we're going to take it one step further. Right. Standing now, this, position. This is going to be fun, because remember how Scott hit me in the beginning? Ready, Scott? Yeah. Bah! Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Now, what we're doing here, when Scott contracted his abdominal muscles, he contracted all of them. And this is a great exercise. You watch boxers. You see their abdominals, right? No, we're not telling everybody to hit each other at home, though, right? <laughs> no, we're talking about right. just contracting. Just contracting. Right. Okay. So we're going to play a little game here. We're going to okay. imagine that I'm throwing a punch at you, and then you throw a punch at me. <laughs> Boom. And we're just going to isometrically contract the abs on each punch. And we're going to do a purse lip exhale. So blowing out through the mouth. <laughs> right. Okay, and you can see that. <laughs> Contracts the abs. You know, my karate instructor in Okinawa, he, all the pictures taken were like this. He always looked like this because it was this. All right? So let's do it, Scott. You scare me, man. Okay. Everybody with us? You at home? Try it. If you don't have a partner, you know, just do it in the air and exhale when you do it. Okay? All right. And we're going to literally trade punches back and forth. Okay. Ready? Without making contact. And even the puncher is exhaling. So we're both getting a workout. Just that isometric contraction on each punch. Cool. Works. That doesn't? works. All right. They're still going out back there. <laughs> Glenda and Bryce. Cool. And you all are going out too. All right. Now we're going to take this a step further. Scott, I'd like you to assume a fighting type position, like okay. a boxer or a martial artist would. This time I'm going to throw a jab at your head. Good. Okay. And you're going to literally slip it. And by slipping it, and you watch martial artists, they have, you ha they have these obliques here that just don't stop. Right. So when I throw a jab, you move right. And I throw it this way. Boom. So you're working your obliques off either side, off the jab. Good. And I have to bend my knees to keep my leg base. Otherwise, look, if I'm up top, I'm right. very off balance. So Think leg base is very important as well. Good. Think about just tilting that upper body. Excellent. And so you feel it all from your obliques. Good. Are right, you feeling it? Yep. Boom. Here's one. Boom. Easy. Good. All right. And again, at home, just make sure your punches are a good distance away. But it really helps to tilt the body if you have an attacker. Yeah, you can see the stability. Okay. There's one more I want to show you. Uh, okay. All right. Here it is. One. This right. is the haymaker. You know, someone comes right. at you here. Right. And look at Scott automatically does the right thing. I throw the punch. Boom. He goes under it. And good. He goes a bob and weave. He bob and weave. He comes up under it, which is about abs, hips, everything. everything okay. This is a total together. body exercise. Exactly. Want to try it? Yep. All right. Here we go. Shoom, shoom, boom. Look at that body work. It's a total body exercise. It starts with a bend in the knees. It hinges from the hip, the obliques. Purse, lip, exhale. That's right. We're, <laughs> we're both exhaling. <laughs> so it's a workout for both people. Awesome. Shoom, shoom. Two more. Shoom. Ah, good work, Scott. I love the sound effects. <laughs> bah, bah, it's like a Batman show or something. Okay, great job. So that gives you an idea of obliques and functionality of the abs.